Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we have a Christmas party at church this evening. And I am making a dessert to take along. And the dessert that I'm making is Paula Bean's Southwest Georgia Pound Cake. Kind of thought I'd do this as a <clears throat> tribute to my friend Diana. Since it's a Georgia pound cake. And we're going to start with two sticks of softened butter. It's a Paula Deen recipe. You know it's going to have butter in it. You just can't have Paula Deen recipe without butter. So you have two sticks of butter, three cups of granulated sugar, and you're going to cream that butter and sugar together. Okay, now I have creamed my butter and sugar together till it's nice and light and fluffy and airy. I'm going to add six eggs. And I'm going to beat after each egg, so I'm going to add them one at a time. Now my eggs are added and well incorporated and I'm going to scrape down the sides of my bowl. <clears throat> Next. Okay, now I have sifted together three cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt and I'm going to begin adding that and a cup of I have a cup of cream of heavy cream and I'm going to alternately add the flour and the cream and blend it into our batter you're going to begin and end with flour so I'm going to add some flour Going to add the last third of the flour. I'm going to scrape down the sides of my bowl just to make sure that all of that flour is incorporated. <clears throat> and give it another quick mix. You don't want to over mix or you will end up with a very tough cake. Now this is a very, very thick batter. Okay, we are incorporated now. I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm going to just incorporate that. Okay. And what I like to do to get the, the uh, excess batter off of my beaters is I just kind of raise it above, above the dough and let it spin so some of it flies off. <clears throat> and then we are then going to take a bunt pan. I have to. We are going to, I use Pam for baking has flour in it. I'm going to spray my pan. I love this pan for baking. It is wonderful. Okay, and we're going to pour our batter into our pan. 
and you want to evenly distribute it. As I said, this is a very thick batter, so you will have to make sure that you try to evenly distribute your batter through your pan. As I said, you want to, you want to spread your batter around the pan and try to make sure you have a relatively even top here, which will actually be the bottom of your cake. Have that good and spread around. And we are going to place this into a cold oven. You do not preheat your oven for this cake. We're going to place it into a cold oven and set it at 325. There's our batter in our cake pan. We're going to take it out to the stove. And as you notice, my stove, my oven is not preset. That's the time you're seeing. I'm going to open the cold oven. We're going to place my cake in a cold oven. And then I'm going to set the bake for 325. And you are then going to bake that for an hour and 15 minutes without opening the oven. Just check and make sure that it is ready. Went a little too far on my timer there. You will then make sure... Okay, my timer is beeping. I believe that means, hopefully, we are ready this time. I'm going to pull it out. Use our knife here, just to double check, and it's clean. So that means our cake is done. I'm going to pull it out of the oven. Take it. We're going to put it on a cooling rack, allow it to cool for about 15 minutes and then you're going to turn it out. Okay, once your cake has cooled for 15 minutes, I usually like to run a knife around the inside edge and around the outside edge to try to help loosen it from the sides of the pan. Right, now what I like to do, it's a little warm, it's okay. I like to take my cooling rack and place it on top of the cake like that. And then, I know the bottom of this is going to be hot. And then I'm going to flip it like so. And we are going to hope and pray that this comes out right. Sometimes you've got to shake it a little bit to allow it to loosen. I think we're loose, and there we go. And then you're going to allow your cake to completely cool. And then I will place it on a cake plate and sprinkle it with powdered sugar. And that is the beauty of your South Georgia pound cake.